got some squash plants. Ooh, I, I'm interrupting something. Excuse me. Okay. And what's going on, Ugg fam? Kiki Soto here, Urban Girl Gardening. It is six something in the morning. It's finally stopped raining. Um, it's supposed to be dry for the day and then start raining again um, tomorrow morning for a couple of days so I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done check on some things and I guess we'll start here because it doesn't rain on the porch and I'm you know completely neglectful and the state that I've been in mentally the last few days like this looks great. This don't care. So you can see the moonflowers, the geraniums, basil sad. The shisha is really sad. And then the yarrow needs to get deadheaded. <sighs> Citronella looks good. These bluebells went to seed here. So that'll be interesting. Collecting these seeds. Um other than that these herbs they're getting the uh the rainwater so they're fine over here y'all look at this sage i still can't believe i grew all of this from seed look at that um let's see the purple peas you can see the buds on them they're not really climbing um some of them as you can see have opened but i stuck a moonflower or two in here and they're climbing with no issue so let's go over to the front and ground garden. That's where, usually where I start, start in front and work my way to the back. So this here is a squash, the Striata di Italia squash. I pulled it out because this, 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 I don't know what's happening to it. I didn't know if it was going to spread. I've never seen a squash do that before. So I pulled it out whatever um jeremy and i ended up stringing up the uh, cherry tomatoes over here i'm still looking for my first ripe one y'all i am but geez look at the size of these chocolate cherry tomatoes they are huge huge and i want to eat one so i'm still looking i'm still looking Um, strawberries here. I pulled out these bigger bulbs here and cooked with them the other day. They were delicious. I pulled the eggplants off of these because the plants just didn't seem healthy, so I pulled them off. This one here is something going on. We'll see what happens. The flea beetles have laid off. I think they got their fill, but we'll see. I haven't been able to spray with anything because of all the rain. Um, these okra plants, they don't care about no rain. They are, whew, they are growing, honey. Yes, they are. Uh, let's see, we got the purple tomatilla here. This one, because you need two, this one is already giving us tomatillas, well about to, and these husks here, so I've never grown tomatillas before, so that's going to be fun, but you need two to pollinate, and then we come on over here, I still don't remember what kind of peppers these are, I just know they're growing upwards, I got to go through my seed packets, and this one got heavy, and I'm thinking that I want to just take these off. Yeah, I think I might do that. Sorry about the noise, y'all. As I always say, this is Urbania. Yeah. And there's a lot of flowers on here. So, I'm going to give these a taste test and see what they are. Um, here's another one growing the same way. So, these are exactly the same. 
Tabasco peppers. They're not really doing anything. Uh, these are the salt and pepper cucumbers. And uh, one day last week I came out and I made a DIY trellis for them. This is actually the trellis I was using in the back for the blush peas. And let's see. And we got a little cucumber growing there. And a little cuki growing there. Oh, and a little one there. Hopefully they're pollinated. Who knows? Um, this is the other. I haven't put anything in here. This is where that uh, zucchini plant was. This is the other one, and as you can see, it has a zucchini on it. And it's not doing the same thing the other one was, thank goodness. So I look forward to trying this variety though. That'll be good. And I need to find my zucchini seeds and put another variety in here. So now we're in the back. You guys remember when me and Jeremy put those um, caladium and gladiolus bulbs back here? So all the gladiolus are up. These actually came up within a week. So they must really like this spot. These are the, um, I think these are the Red Dazzler Cosmos. Yeah, um, no, bright light. I don't know. I have to go over to the other ones and see. But hey there. Okay, all right. Um, so they came up, they're looking good. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm fighting the bug at the same time. And here we threw some zinnias and some more Cosmos in with the gladiolas. The caladiums that we put in here, they aren't up yet, but that's expected. This pumpkin plant is absolutely losing its mind. Look at that, y'all. I don't, I don't know if y'all can tell just truly how big this plant is. I have no idea what this is. I put, uh, oh, and here's more. I have no idea. Look at that, y'all. I know it's a winter squash. I don't know what it's going to be because I put honey nut squash seeds in here and honey nut squash is a hybrid so hybrid seeds they don't give you the true fruit so this is fun <laughs> this is fun let me see if I could bring y'all in closer let's see this here you see more growing I can't wait to see what the heck that is okay now we're entering a jungle so here's my tree collards they are still looking good still drying up these peas here on this vine Let's see, let's see, let's see. Strawberries, they're doing okay. Um, one of my onions decided to uh, flower and I let it because I've never seen onion flowers up close. And I think it's pretty so far. Looks like it's about to open. Hey there, beautiful. Good morning. The not so baby corn is tasseling. We got some squash plants. I'm interrupting something, excuse me. Okay. And let's see here. This is the Black Beauty. That one getting worked on is the yellow squash. Oh gosh. Oh, let me show you guys. I did drop some seeds over here. Dragon tongue beans. Me and Jeremy dropped these in the rain a few days ago, and most of them are up. Um, I just don't see like one in that spot right there. It looks like something actually pulled it up because you can see a little hole. That's more baby corn. The Swiss is chilling. But here, yeah, I got a whole patch of grass that has grown back. So, I got work to do. <laughs> so, this green stalk here, Jeremy and I are actually going to refresh. We're actually going to take it apart, um, move it from this spot here, and I'll show you where it's going to go. So, these two here, these mini green stalks, you see, they have lots of seeds. So, I'm going to come out and collect these and refresh these for baby greens, baby salad greens and stuff. And that's what we'll use this for. And then these are gonna get moved though. Um, where I'm not sure, but they're gonna get moved. And then the green stalk is gonna come over here. Cause I feel like they're not getting, I'm not gonna say not enough sun, 
but they're not getting enough love back there. It's, oh, what a beautiful shot, especially with um, the slugs and whatnot, because I saw slugs all the way at the top yesterday. So I'm going to move those, but first I'm going to make sure that there's no slugs in there. Like, we're going to go through this whole thing, and I haven't been getting as much beans as I usually get. So the blackberries have come into the garden. Me and Jeremy need to set up a system over here. Um, any suggestions, let me know. My comfrey growing amazingly. We got two red cabbages here. This one has a nice firm head right here. This one is still going. Um, more seeds that I dropped. These are purple turnips. Drop these in here. Uh, we cleaned up the collard greens. Mm-hmm. They were delicious. But I think I'm gonna let these go one more round while I start more seeds. And I'm gonna put some blue collards in here. They look purple, but they're called blue collards. But they're gonna go with my purple fall garden. And yeah, so we're probably gonna pull these out while the other ones grow, see how much more we can get off of these, and then put the purple collards in here. And then we got more cabbages here, and I don't I don't think these are gonna I don't know, that's a pretty hard head there. I don't know about you. Oh, you firm too. Okay, y'all might do it. Y'all might do it. And then I'm so excited. I have never successfully grown Brussels sprouts. Look at that, y'all. Oh, you getting ready to open up too, huh? All right now. So Jeremy and I pulled the two bell peppers that were on here, but as you can see, there's more growing. Yeah, let's see. No, you're falling right off. It's freaking rain, y'all. We need some sun around here. We also pulled the bag of potatoes that were here. Um, it died off. I think I may still have the footage of that. I don't know. I deleted so much so much last week, y'all. Uh, let's see. These guys here. I think these are my russets. We'll see what happens in this bag. They starting to die back, as you can see. This time is looking really good. It's starting to flower, but we eat it either way. These are paprika peppers. Starting to come on here. Let's see. Cayennes. Got a lot going on. Both plants. What's going on here? These are the Pasilla Bahias starting to put peppers on. The Chile peppers are they're going non-stop. We took a bunch of jalapenos the other day from here. But these plants sure are getting tall, I'll tell you that much. Whew. Well, you got a bee on you. You are huge. So we got our fall potatoes. They're starting to sprout up here, looking good. This plant here, this is the black cherry. This is the only black cherry that survived. Um, I just took her out of a solo cup two, two and a half weeks ago, and she's huge. She is huge. So, I'm gonna enjoy her. The black cherry is like the little baby sister cousin of the chocolate cherry, the ones that are huge in the front that I showed you guys. This is the uh, that last round of corn that is looking amazing. The beans are looking really healthy. My gumbo garden is doing good. You can see the cosmos are about to bloom. The marigolds are doing great. Look how easily easily you can confuse these two so this is the marigold leaves very jagged around the edges and then this is the Cosmo and I'm really thinking let me see hold on y'all <laughs> we're gonna figure this out because I'm, I'm growing two kinds the red dazzler and the bright lights okay so here are some that are bloomed and let's see here are the leaves okay so these leaves are the bright lights so this is the bright lights and then this one, this will be the Red Dazzler. Perfect. And we got some, uh, some Romas growing here. Yes, I have a sunflower stuck in. This is why this is my gumbo uh, bed here. Some everything going on in here. I got some cayenne peppers over in the corner. We picked some strawberries out of here. And y'all see all this borage? So I've been trying to let these radish pods dry out but all this rain is not happening so we do snack on them yeah 
oh lord this cucumber is going out so this is the white wonder cucumber i harvested the one that was growing yesterday we haven't eaten it yet though but we will um eggplants cosmos zinnia there's two kind of eggplants there's the little prince which is a good patio eggplant and then these are the itchy bond and these are my babies from seed that i did not think we're going to make it so just the fact that they're here fine by me and if you look in here there's some um, green onions growing these are from the ones that I bought from the store I just stuck the bottoms in and they're growing these are the last of my purple bush beans I just stuck them in y'all getting ready for the fall I just stuck them in because remember this was the garlic bed let's see um, pepper plants that we decided we were going to try to save so we stuck them in um something's eating that one though and then i can do it in the rain this hair snapped off and as you can see it's not dead i just stuck the bottom right in there as deep as i could and it'll root these are watermelons whoa hey so these are icebox melons it's just the um version of the sugar baby so yeah and I got three of the plants I bought these from ShopRite let's see that's more of the purple bush beans that I just dropped in here this corn is blowing my mind you can see we got some uh, tasseling going on y'all this is the silver queen it's tall it's huge And here's the sweet potato bag, guys. It's doing really, really good, too. Yeah, the sweet potatoes are doing their thing. More winter squash over here. Um, pill bugs. This is the pill bugs. Because they're liking this, uh, see that? They're liking this dark, damp place over here. So, I think that one was butternut, and I think this one is spaghetti squash. I still just have the one right there. It's not falling off, so I'm thinking it was pollinated, but it's not growing much. But we'll see what happens. No other fruit over here, though. Um, tomatoes. And this one looks like something pecked inside of it, which wouldn't surprise me. This whole thing was flooded yesterday, so I'm glad that I'm not seeing too much flood waters. You can still see a little there. But the tomatoes are in there. We'll have to see what happens after they get some sun. Because right now, they're getting way too much water. Way too much. Got some beans coming up here. This is the asparagus bean. This one here is the red scarlet bean. But as you can see, the birds are eating the blossoms. So hopefully I will get some beans. We'll see. Here, this is the Armenian cucumber starting to climb. These guys need sun, y'all. Whew, all this water and here this is the lemon cute hopefully we got some pollination going on I see bees in here a lot of the time oh, that is the Wisconsin SMR I know because it's the only green cucumber that I'm growing right now so that's a pickling cucumber Here's another one okay all right can I get some lemon cukes though and let's see the beautiful sunflowers here this is some kind of melon I think that's the red and gold again they need sun too much rain get off me bug um this is a tigger melon let's see what happens we need some sun and here is the loofah surprisingly doing the best of everything in this garden 
besides the corn is the loofah through cold temps through it all we got, we got some asparagus here and this is my baby that i grew from seed and then there's more asparagus in here these are the purple asparagus you can barely see them because of all the weeds y'all then we got some kohlrabi here so yeah we got some kohlrabi here that's been eaten up the leaves at least but the slugs they ain't stopping no show because the kohlrabis are still growing they're still going still doing their thing and you guys are going to see the recipe for the one i harvested the other day with the cabbage i'll be putting that together the uh footage together for you guys soon i don't think i deleted that <laughs> Uh, let's see. What are you? Oh, the Ponderosa. The Ponderosa. Woo! Ponderosa is putting on, honey. The marigolds are blowing my mind every day. I'm very happy with them. Um, the Swiss chard. I'm loving, but starting to get a little spent from all this rain as well. Um... I'm getting ready to start some more though. So soon I'll be pulling these and putting the other seedlings in. And then I got some Egyptian cabbage here. Not cabbage, Egyptian spinach. And that grew really, really fast, y'all. I also dropped a lot of other seeds. I dropped some um, scarlet kale because we had matcha corn salad here. So I dropped some scarlet kale there instead um, when the corn salad started to go to seed. And then I dropped some butter crunch lettuce here where the red romaine used to be. And then here on this side, I can't remember. Purple mustard maybe? I think, I'm pretty sure it was purple though to go with my fall thing. So yeah, I think I dropped purple mustard seeds. We'll see what happens with all the rain. Them seeds are gonna end up germinating <laughs> wherever they land. But y'all remember I donated all the lettuces that were here. Um, to free food fridge Albany and then this one I kept here because I wanted to save seeds and it did go to seed and we are back around to the peppers again serranos are loaded we pick them every day uh, let's see we have here the Pusawalas haven't put on yet this is the mulatto is Lino. They're getting ready. Scotch bonnets. Ooh, okay. They're getting ready. Parsley. I love you. You're beautiful. Again, you guys saw the cayennes from the other side. And I just walked in a spider web. Woo! Uh, let's see. These are mild. Oh my goodness. The mosquitoes, the spiders. These are the mild cherry peppers. <laughs> I saved these seeds myself last year. Look at them. Oof, they are so delicious and I use these in my seasoning blend. So, very happy to have these. And you are, oh, the sweet banana peppers. Awesome. We also have hot banana peppers. Here's one here, but we harvested some the other day. So, that's pretty much it, y'all, on the update. Oh, wait, let me take y'all to the green stalk real quick. This beauty. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I still can't believe we got pansies and I grew them from seed. Look how beautiful. So beautiful. Um, palladiums in the pot. They have come up here here is the green stalk and I'll do a tour of everything here one of these days it's caladiums here so we have more caladiums growing here the Florida beauty 
and oh this lemon verbena we've been drying this hut for tea let's see y'all remember when this was just one little stick of basil i've been pinching it like crazy and it's bushing out nicely these are i think the red bearded scallions that i grew from seed green onion they're doing good but I just I just love this green stalk y'all and I'm gonna end it here on a happy sunshiny note thank you guys for joining me I know this was long but it's what's going on I actually didn't even do the fruit trees didn't do all the pots but one of these days we'll do a, um, a nice full garden tour Thank you guys so much for joining me, for being here. Learn with me, grow with me. I love y'all, for real, bye.